Unit 4A Simba taken from the book In Going Solo Adventures of Roald Dahl in Africa slightly abridged Before you read you must have read several stories about the king of jungle the lion This story is a Swahili folk tale about Simba popular name for lion in East Africa Once Simba enters the house and grabs the cook's wife in his jaws. Let's see what chaos it creates and what happens next. The Sanford house was on a hill outside the town. On the burnt up plain itself, there grew nothing but those bare spiky thorn trees that you find all over East Africa. We sat there watching the sun go down behind the flat down plain that was covered with thorn trees. Suddenly, the voice of a man yelling in Swahili exploded into the quiet of the evening. It was my boy Madisho. Buana, Buana, Buana! He was yelling from somewhere behind the house. Simba, Buana, Simba! All three of us leaped to our feet and the next moment Madisho came tearing round the corner to the house yelling at us in Swahili Come quick Buana come quick come quick a huge lion has caught the cook's wife Robert Sanford flew into the house and came out again in 5 seconds flat holding a powerful rifle and ramming a cartridge into the breech Get those children in doors he shouted to his wife as he ran down off the veranda with me behind him Madisho was jumping about and pointing towards the back of the house and yelling in Swahili The lion has taken the cook's wife and he is chasing the lion Madisho was jumping about and pointing Comprehension check 1 Where was the Sanford house situated The Sanford house was situated on a hill outside the town. What is Swahili? Swahili is a local language in East Africa. Who was shouting Buana Buana? Madisho was shouting Buana Buana. What was the cook doing? The cook was chasing the lion. The servants lived in a series of low whitewashed outbuildings at the back of the house and as we came running round the corner we saw four or five house boys leaping about and pointing and shrieking Simba 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 the boys were all clothed in spotless white cotton robes that looked like long night shirts and each had a fine scarlet tarbush on his head The tar bush is a sort of a top hat without a brim and there is often a black tassel on it. The women had come out of their huts as well and were standing in a separate group silent and staring. Where is it? Robert Sanford shouted. But he had no need to ask for we were quickly spotted the massive sandy colored lion not more than 80 or 90 yards off and trotting away from the house. He had a fine bushy collar of fur round his neck and in his jaws he was holding the wife of the cook. The lion had the woman by the waist so that her head and arms hung down on one side and her legs on the other. And I could see that she was wearing a red and white spotted dress. The lion so startlingly close was moving away from us in the calmest possible manner and behind the lion Not far ran the cook himself in his white cotton robe and a tarbush on his head. He was running most bravely and waving his arms like a whirlwind, leaping, clapping his hands, screaming, shouting, 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 Simba, Simba, Simba. Simba, let go of my wife. Let go of my wife. Oh, it was a scene of great tragedy and comedy both mixed up together. Now Robert Sanford was running at full speed after the cook who was running after the lion. He was holding his rifle in both hands and shouting to the cook, "Pingo, Pingo, get out of the way. Pingo, lie down on the ground so I can shoot the Simba. You're in my way. You're in my 
away bingo but the cook ignored him and kept on running and the lion ignored everybody he kept moving ahead with the head held high and carrying the woman proudly in his jaws rather like a dog that is trotting off with a good bone comprehension check 2 where did the servants live the servants lived in a series of low white washed out buildings at the back of the house what is a tar bush the tar bush is a sort of top hat without a brim and there is often a black tassel on it what was the cook's wife wearing the cook's wife was wearing a red and white spotted dress the lion was heading for one of those hill blocks that was densely covered with jungle trees and we all knew that once he got in there he would never be able to get at him the incredibly brave cook was actually catching up on the lion and was now not more than 10 yards behind him and robert sandward was 30 or 40 yards behind the cook hey the cook was shouting simba 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 let go of my wife i'm coming after you simba then robert sandford stopped and raised his rifle and took aim and i thought surely he's not risking a shot at a moving lion when it's got a woman in his jaw there was an almighty crack as a big gun went off and i saw a spurt of dust just ahead of the lion the lion stopped dead and turned his head still holding the woman in his jaws he must have thought an army was coming after him because instantaneously he dropped the cook's wife onto the ground and ran into the jungle i have never seen anything accelerate so fast from a standing start the cook reached the wife first then robert sandford and then me i couldn't believe what i saw it was certain that the grip of those terrible jaws would have ripped the woman's waist and stomach almost in two but there she was sitting up on the ground and smiling at the cook her husband shouted robert sandward rushing up the cook's wife looked up at him and kept smiling and she said in swahili that old lion he couldn't scare me i just lay there in his mouth pretending that i was dead and he didn't even bite through my clothes he carried me as gently as i had been one of its own cups but now i shall have to wash my dress comprehension check 3 why was robert sandford shouting at the cook robert sandford was shouting at the cook because he was holding the gun and aiming at the lion He shouted at the cook to get out of his way. What made the lion stop? The crack of the gun made the lion stop. Was the lady cook's wife hurt?